absolute visionary as to the need to <clears throat> educate and support OHV recreation in the state in a way that it could be sustainable and manageable for the long term. In 1959, there were no environmental laws. There was not an, an Endangered Species Act or a Federal Land Management Policy Act or any of those things. But Steve recognized that that had to be taken into account, that those things were coming. He wanted to make sure that there was a process by which we could manage OHV recreation. He started by creating the Sacramento Jeepers uh, Club, uh, and that uh, evolved into the California Association of Four-Wheel Drive Clubs. Once we had a, a proper set of bylaws put together, we had an election, and I was elected president. It has always been Steve Morris that has been the conscience of our group and the background guidance for us uh, to do the right thing to protect the sport. Steve Morris was a legend of off-roaders. He, he was the first president of uh, Cal Four Wheel. He, him and his wife worked very hard for all of us avid off-roaders so we could keep going out and doing what we enjoyed in life. Steve Morris being inducted into the Off-Roader Hall of Fame is, a, is an honor that he deserved probably many years ago. Without him, um, what we know as off-road and not only in California, but off-roading throughout the United States would either be non-existence or a whole different world on private properties. I had made contact with the Kaiser Jeep Corporation. They liked what we were doing, and they funded a couple of brochures. One of the brochures was a, a map of California with shaded areas or in various degrees of shade showing public land, <coughs> private land, open land. And it's shocking to see how much land is not available. So the association has been working on that program all, this, all these years. Steve had a lot of backbone, strong backbone, and pushed a lot of people to stand up and do things and fought for the off-road community. Steve was a true pioneer in the field, in the field of off-roading. He founded Cal Four Wheel in 1959. He was a doer. He would do whatever we needed done. He was always there to help. He was not afraid to tell you how to do things or the way he thought they should be done. And fortunately, he was right 99.9% .9 of the time. Uh, it's uh, Jeepers Jamboree felt that uh, his dedication um, and honor, you know, naming it Morris Rock, that he was part of our family. And uh, not only that, but his uh, inspiration to all. We really needed an ambassador in, in camp, and he was that ambassador. He had the history, the knowledge of the trail, and he brought that every year. He would, he would sit down at, on Saturday and do a historical uh, speech, you know, in camp describing the, the history of the Rubicon. His quote to me was, take care of the trail as if it were yours, because it is. I always benefit from Steve's uh, wisdom and he was able to relay the history of how they started the association and why certain uh, things were important on what they did and I always thought they had quite a good vision and it has stood the test of time. Steve Morris, welcome to the Off-Road Motorsports Hall of Fame. Steve, rest in peace, we love you. Steve and I were standing on the dam at Loon Lake back in the days of the Rubicon Trail was first getting started. We needed a building, a headquarters. Steve told me we didn't have some place to start people and give them brochures and things, signs. The trail was gonna fall apart. Steve helped me engineer that with all the friends of the Rubicon and Steve said, we got to get this building over here to the spillway. This will be good for the trail and keep it open in the long run. Steve seemed to instinctively understand the value in organizing those early pioneers. He was just the person to build coalitions to keep and grow our access to off-road recreation. It is with great honor that we recognize you tonight. Your induction into the Off-Road Motorsports Hall of Fame ensures your contributions and influence will be remembered. Thank you very much, Steve Morris. We love you.
It, you know, that man, I, I, I can't say enough about Steve, what he did for the off-roading family, for the community. And that's why I'm glad he's being inducted to the Hall of Fame. He is a man that worked hard so we all could go four-wheeling. <laughs>